Today, around 4.17 p.m., Leilani Simon was arrested for the murder of her son, Quentin Simon. After weeks of fighting for justice for Quentin, peacefully protesting, digging for answers, speaking with neighbors and locals about Quentin's disappearance, going to the courthouse and the police department. Get Leilani behind bars! We will be back! We will not stop! We're seeking justice for Quentin! showing photos of Simon's face with bruises on his body. Applying pressure in a professional capacity to arrest Leilani Simon has finally come to an end. Billy Joe! I just, we just want to know, were you involved or are you just helping cover it up? All I hear is crickets. Confess to what you did to your son. Yeah. That's all you have to do is confess. You know, this is nonsense, and trust me, I will be at every court hearing. Where's these missing poster signs of your baby? These are baby killers. This man's coming out here attacking people that he don't even know, and nothing was done in front of the police. I want answers. I want to know where this baby's at. I've been looking for your baby the last three hours in this park. She was just trouble all the way around. He would come covered in bruises, dirty diapers, just very obvious signs of neglect. I'm 34 years old. I've never had a baby in my life. I wish I could. You know, there's women out here that can't have kids and that would love to have that baby. They have a 20-month-old baby that's dead, lying in a landfill, and not one person has spoken up for this child in this community other than when we got here. You will have to look at my face every single time you go to court. Molly Golightly had a heartfelt moment with the babysitter, Diana. That's so sad that you want us to stay. She felt safer with us here. We can't stay here. No one's ever told us that before. But they didn't want us to leave. And doesn't do anything about it. I mean, I know they gotta find the body and all that stuff, but I think there's enough evidence to lock her up and then add charges later. So, I mean, that's just how I feel about it. I feel like she needs to go to jail. We don't know which one he was laid in, but this is where his mother placed him. And she sat on the side of the road there or the side of the road over here. If you make this go the way that it's gonna go, where they have to find a bag of bones of your son before anything happens to you and you won't pick up the law uh, phone and call the law and you won't confess, you won't cooperate, I will be at every single hearing on this child. This video was taken about a week before Leilani's arrest. We went to the babysitter's home and helped her take down the memorial in her front yard. Oh, it's Andra. It's, it's Bullhorn Betty and Marissa. Hey, honey. We're just gonna we're gonna walk down there, but we're gonna help you move the memorial okay. on here um, before we leave. Okay. So we're uh, it's gonna take us like five minutes. I just okay. want to get a couple what they put up instead of erasing baby killers, right? They'd rather, they'd rather take the rights of the protesters away than arrest a baby killer. They can spend money on that sign, but they can't spend money to lock this lady up. <laughs> so we're not going to engage um, in these uh, disruptors out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep uh, talking and we're going to just say, we're going to say, God bless you and have a great day. Because we hate, we hate, we hate now people that, that support. Right now, and we're going to do the respectful thing, right? I'm not going to be a show pony. Mm -mm. I will not be exploited. For their and we will not be intimidated. We won't be intimidated by uh, disgusting people I will not or support, uh, disgusting police chiefs. I will never support baby killers. No. I will never go back on my word. No. I will not be bought. No. I will not be compromised, nor my moral, ever. And we won't let a stupid uh, county ordinance stop our... Or 
I want to know why they ran away. Can you tell me why they ran away? Who ran? Oh, yeah, because they're why scared. Because they, 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 they don't like being, they don't like to see um, them laughing and enjoying themselves. Oh, God. Because that's what they've been doing out here. Is when we're not here, when they are, when they're here, they're, they don't, they're, they're uh, whenever they're there. So, we're allowed to walk on the street, Mr. White. We're allowed to walk on the street. I read the ordinance. We're, we're perfectly legal. We make sure we're perfectly legal, Mr. Mr. Yeah. White. How many times have a, you have a great day. God show. bless you. Have a great day and God bless you. That's okay. We're making a documentary to expose everything that's going on here. Yeah. Help move the um, memorial that's out front of Miss Diane's house onto her porch so she doesn't have to do it. Right at the corner. It'll be in front of the house. All right, guys. The only person that didn't disrespect this baby is this is Miss Diana. This lady, Miss Diana, the babysitter. She was the only one that cared for this child in his life. That and, was it. Um, we all care for this child as well as her in his death. Here's where the this work. This city began. should really be ashamed of. They themselves. should be ashamed of themselves. Wow. They're disgusting. They're and the disgusting. neighbors yelling. So hold it. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if we if we lift it up and fold it in, we could probably just carry Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, everyone want to... Oh, my God. It's almost like holding a... What does that Hold on. Let me go remove this. In yeah. The All right. Everybody grab a side. When we carry it evenly, it'll... Uh, yeah. It'll tip over too bad. Right, it's going to fall to the middle. The rain will come in. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Put this, uh, put this all back up. Let me go see if there's any other things. Can you make monkey sounds like me? <laughs> How are you doing? We are absolutely on private property. So here we go with the uh, more um, police intimidation. They just left their home. They just left their house too. Some more police intimidation. Just the audience. Good afternoon, Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Chisholm. Um, are y'all part of the protest group? Yes. I'm, I'm with the media. Okay. And I've been out there documenting the media on Bullhorn Betty that we've been accused of causing all this havoc out here when we have not. Okay. All right. Well, I wanted to put some information out because it's going to affect. If it's any fine. of you are protesting, uh, it's going to affect how you protest. Okay? I'm world going home. Uh, okay. We're going home tomorrow, but I will, I will okay. be back to you, document it under okay. my professional capacity as a media professional. Okay, no worries. Um, so, I, it's all right. Again, a, a ordinance came out, okay, and it's effective today. All right. So I wanted to read this to anyone so we can put it out because, like I said, it's going to affect how you protest. Okay. Sure. So. What the county has done is they've enacted the um, Parade Public Assembly Ordinance. It's actually been in effect, but they're making it a, in effect for this, okay? Sure. Basically, it just says um, if you're doing a public assembly, which is meeting, demonstration, picket line, rally, gathering uh, for a common purpose that interferes with the day-to-day -day stuff that goes on here, uh, you have to go down to the county manager's office to get a permit, okay? So when you go down to the county manager's office and you get your permit, okay, then you can come back and then you can That's do fair. your normal thing. That's okay? fair. Yes, ma'am. And That's then still one, unconstitutional. And, well, it's, I'll take it's, it, I'll take it. okay. It's okay. Um, so we're gonna do that, okay? So if you don't have a permit, um, we don't need you to be down here, okay? And there's also a 
loitering uh, ordinance that went into effect also. So between this sign, I believe it's right here by this house, there's one in front of the house, the Simon's house, and then there's one just past the house. So between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., you can't be out there or it would be loitering, okay? And those are all offenses that you could be charged and arrested for, okay? Of course. So and we don't we want any of that to happen. Love to, to charge and arrest well, us. no, no, that's not true, ma'am. But anyway, exactly. um, we, we, we just don't want it to affect you in that way, okay? So I just wanted to put that out so everyone knows, because like I said, we don't want that to happen. We do now, want you these, to protest. Have these ordinances, just out of, out of curiosity, have they gone through your legislature? Or are they uh, enacted they, by your they, county commission? They, yes, they, they're they enacted by the county, okay. okay? And they've been in effect, but, you know, they just starting to enforce that, mm -hmm. okay, for this, okay? Yeah. Everyone understood? Yep, and tell your police chief I'll be waiting for my bracelets when I get back into town. Okay, yes, ma'am. Have a great day. Right. Hey, I have a quick question for y'all. Yes, yes, yes sir. That's okay. um, some of my property was taken by the Chatham County Police. Where did I pick my property up? Okay. What kind of property what was it? It was a, a baton and a <laughs> taser. Okay. If it's, it should be at our West Chatham location, right. uh -huh. 295, which is 295 Police, Police Memorial, Memorial Drive. Uh, That's great because I've got some pictures for the... Uh, uh, police chief and i'm just going to take this camera off for a second because i, I want you guys to, to and you don't have to look if you don't want to but i'd okay. like you guys to see uh, something our property room is located there mm -hmm. um they close at five o'clock today so you won't be able to, then you won't be able to get it till monday if yeah, you would get there before five right. is there any way uh i can contact there and make some help contact uh, you can contact our property yes. room oh, yes Actually, okay. um, I mean, I'll you. I'm not yeah, sure. Not I don't know how that works, but I, don't, I didn't plan on staying until Monday. No, we don't feel safe with you guys. I mean, to be honest with you, you guys have used your intimidation to run us out of town, but I'm coming back after I seek counsel by an attorney. You know, and uh, I'm going to be going through all your uh, county ordinances and everything like that. We're going to be reviewing them, and um, I, I, I adamantly uh, want to state for the record for you guys that I do not believe a county ordinance supersedes your state law, your state constitution, or the U.S. Constitution. But with that said, that's just my, you know, yes, again, I'll get a proper counsel sure. before I come back out here. So um, this is my, this is why I'm here, right here. Yes. Yes, okay, do you see this old bruise on his face? You see that? Let me, let's talk about this. Look at those handprints. Look at those handprints on this boy. Look at these bruises on his leg. And this is just one of many photos. One of many photos. She should be arrested for the for the crimes that she committed before he disappeared. And I think you guys are, are not just, not, not you. I know you guys, I mean, you're you're probably not a detective. I don't know if you are. No, ma'am, no, ma we're not. But let me I'm tell you, father, this, sure this right father, here makes me sick. Yes, and she should be in jail. She should be in jail. None of this would be going on right now if she was in jail. Yeah. She is on double probation, and this is disgusting. Yeah, you know, and when you people. when you start these arresting people, people that are upset about guys. this, this is a shame because okay. we wouldn't even you be wouldn't. here if she was behind bars. I came in here to look for a, a 20 month old missing child. When I got, arrived into town, I found out she was the prime suspect in this case. The prime suspect in this case. So I was naturally thinking in two days she'd be in jail, double probation. History of violence on children, using drugs in front of children. I thought Chatham County Police would have her in jail. I'm here three weeks later, and she is still able to sleep in her bed. And we're getting arrested. Understood. You know, that's bad. intimidation. Yes, we're not yes, bad we're people. We don't want to give people. No, no, we're, and we're not. We're, we're not that. saying you're bad. We're not know? saying that at all. Well, every time you throw somebody in jail, that's it what you're like saying. Sounds like the chief did. Though. He kind of made me out to be a bad person. Yeah. Really. And I search around the country for missing kids, not just here in Georgia, Idaho, Tennessee, everywhere. I'm not a heckler. I didn't come here to cause these people any problems. And I took his text. It's, it's like a threat. I don't. I don't even feel safe in y'all's community anymore. And that's sad because it's a beautiful place here. The people are great, you know, but the chief, that was a little unnecessary. He needs to take it seriously because it's not a joke. It's not a joke to us. It's not a, a joke to the people of Savannah. When he posted that my address changed to the police station, that's uncalled for and that's unprofessional. unprofessional. Okay. And we had so, some of your police officers flicking us off 
while we were down at have at, in front of your police station, your officers flicking us off. If that's the most undis disrespectful and unprofessional thing, and those are the, under your watch, so maybe you guys need to address that. Yeah, we just want because to I'm be telling you, this is like not everybody cool else. At everybody all. treat it the same. I, I'm good with that, you know. But uh, we respect what you do. We know it ain't your call. You you know y'all just. Uh, Street officers. Now they're detectives. sergeants. Look at the back. Look at their. Street officers. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, these oh are these God. are the big these are the big guys. Okay, okay. Well, they guys. That's why they hate us. They brought the big. They brought the big. Why they hate us? I was on the ground at one time. Yeah, well, I was on the ground at one time. Yeah, that's right. We're outnumbered. We have too many teeth. I'm saving y'all's community. That's why they don't like us here. Okay. But those people. Let me just clarify. The people on YouTube, you're right, have made a mockery of this, but it's not us. But it's not us. It's the other YouTube creators that were calling your office from other states from yeah. literally other really? states making just telling you guys whatever they were saying that we were out standing out in the road i was when the officer came up they're like who is standing out in the road i'm like i've been on live for the last five I'm like my face is planted in my camera for five hours like you can go to my my pay nobody was even in the street so these are people that are literally calling your office by finally because they're not really filing anything under oath, so they can just call you and say, hey, this is going on there. That's true. And we're getting blamed for that. It's and I just want to make sure that that's, clar that's clarified, because it's not fair to us, because we are out here for good intentions. And this thing that we make money, I just want to let you know, that piece of shit car right there is mine. That's the only car I've got. I've got less than $1,000 in my bank account. I spend every penny I make on these cases, literally every penny for free. I do all this for free. Donation. And while you may not, not respect it and may not like it, you know what? Yeah, this I is America. No this yeah, is America. I have no opinion. There is no peace. If it wasn't for viewers like you, traveling the country with my friends would not be possible to cover these cases. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Until next time.